Hello, Roger Cuthbert here, probably take 27. Housted and District Photographic Society in isolation competition. It's a weekly competition and the first week, well, if you've got a slightly better knowledge than some of classical music, you'll appreciate the music just fading out behind me, is spring. So the week one's competition is spring. Sit back and enjoy. Our judge for the first competition is Jill Beckett, none other than our own chairperson at Halstead and District Photographic Society. Jill's words for this particular competition are read by Maud May Cuthbert. A family affair, this one. Firstly, I'd like to give a very big thank you to everyone for taking part in round one of our isolation distraction competition. I have really enjoyed receiving and reviewing all your images. I decided to go with a straightforward theme for the first round to start us off. I was prepared to be reviewing a set of photos consisting entirely of daffodils, but as you'll see when you look at the images, the subject matter is actually really varied. Yes, the overall theme tends to the floral, but it's what spring is all about after all, and I don't have any problem with that. The standard of entries was very high. They are all lovely, so well done to you all. Deciding on the winner was very difficult. I thought it would be good to give you a bit of feedback on the entries, so here are my thoughts. Remember, these are only my views and you're most welcome to disagree and ignore them. A host of golden daffodils. A very colourful image to start off the notes. The light on the daffodils is lovely and I really like the viewpoint. The clouds are a bit over bright. I would have been tempted to bracket the shot to try to get a bit of detail in the sky as it does overpower the eye a little. Also, I might have been tempted to crop the left a little. They are very beautiful flowers though. A meal for the kids. Not completely sure this was taken in a garden. Maybe on your allowed walk? Doesn't matter, it's a lovely image. The kingfisher is beautifully taken, all the details are sharp, a really great capture. The background is perfectly diffused and the colour takes nothing away from the subject. I'm actually quite jealous of this one. April tulips. The flowers are just gorgeous in this image. I love the colours throughout the image, the pinks and the greens complement each other. I really like the texture of the petals, it feels soft. I don't mean not sharp here, rather just a smooth feeling. I think you've done well taking down the background, though I might have been tempted to take out the two little pieces of pink in the far background as they do catch the eye a bit. Blackthorn Blossom I've tried many times to get decent shots of this type of blossom with no real success. There are always so many flowers on a tree in blossom that depth of focus is always going to be an issue. So I think you've done really well here. There are enough completely in focus and the rest are well thrown out. I like the diffused background as well, a very good blossom shot. Bluebells. A lovely moody shot here, concentrating on just one flower head and using minimal light to bring the colour of the flowers to the fore. Not an easy thing to do as bluebells are notoriously difficult to get right in terms of colour. Somehow they very often come out more lilac than blue, so well done. Bursting into bud. I like the actual bud in this picture and the quality of light on it. I find the background a bit distracting though. My eye keeps going to the trees, especially the bright trunk. It's stopping me from concentrating on the bud itself. I don't have a problem with the blue of the background. Cherry Blossom Very colourful and pleasing image this one. I really like the colour palette and the flowers are very well taken. My only concern is that the background is very busy and it's making it a bit difficult for my eye to settle anywhere. Daffodils and primroses. OK, I fess up to this being mine. Therefore, it's here for show only and not an entry in the competition. For your information, the flowers were picked in my garden and I shot them on my light box and added a texture layer afterwards. Take three. <laughs> Daisies in spring. A wonderfully imaginative shot. Well done. I really like the use of two different interpretations of the word spring by using not just flowers but a slinky as well. I'm guessing this was also taken on a light box and it's been very well handled. My only very slight criticism is that I'd have liked a little more light on the top flower. The background blue seemed to have taken down its brightness a bit. Dandelions. 
a very nicely taken shot of a flower we tend to overlook. I really like the colour in this. Dandelions are very bright and often they are overlit in photos, but you've managed by using subtle lighting to overcome this. While the background is a little busy, you've toned it down very well and it doesn't distract at all from the subject matter. I don't mind that the smaller flower is a bit soft, it looks natural. Flowering Current Bud Amazing colour in this shot. I really like the way the light is catching the flowers and the background is generally pretty good. The leaf at the bottom is slightly distracting, perhaps that could be taken down a little. It may just be my screen so I apologise if that's the case, but the pinks are so strong that it's actually losing a bit of detail on some of the flowers. Strong pink and red tones are prone to this. Fresh Spring Growth I really like the soft green tones in this one, it's a very gentle soothing image. I might just have been tempted to take the brightness down, only a tad, on the leaf just behind the main subject. It is taking attention away from the shot a bit, but I really like the image. Ha ha, said the clown. Wow, this looks like a poster for a horror movie. Very original and a completely different approach to spring. It has incredible impact. It's very well lit, has wonderful use of colour and really great composition. It must have taken ages to set up. It's a bit scary, but an amazing image. Not sure I want to know what was going on in the author's mind. In for a long stretch. Another different interpretation of spring and the only monochrome image in the round. I think this works very well in mono, colours would have been a distraction. I'm kind of intri intrigued as to what they do. I like the converging verticals, I think that adds to the feel of the image. My eye does tend to go to the lighter round object on the left rather than the spring though. In isolation. This is a really lovely dreamy image. I love the use of colour throughout and the overall feminine feel to the image. This is, the, this is the sort of thing I would put on my wall. Very well taken and handled. Late Frost. A lovely tranquil scene with a subtle mist and nice light. It's quite contrasty, but I don't mind that as it adds to the atmosphere of the image. I can hear certain of our judges saying, there's burnout in the sun. Well, that's what the sun does, so I don't mind it. What I'd call a dreamy shot. Me too. Wow, the things that go on in people's back gardens. This is a really fun image and very well taken. I just love the expressions they both seem to have. I think we could have a good caption competition for this one. Now maybe that's not a bad idea. New life. Fantastic light in this shot. You've caught it perfectly with no jarring highlights. Lovely use of colour. The whole image is in harmony. The foremost leaf is going a bit soft, but that is completely understandable and it doesn't worry me at all. Pasque flowers. Again, I like the use of colour in this and I like the overall soft feel. I like the positioning of the, fl of the flowers within the image. The background is a little busy, but I don't actually find it distracting. A good, gentle image. Pot of daisies. Another artistic shot of daisies here. It's also well handled and only using blue and yellow is a great idea. They are complementary colours so they work really well. I like the softening effect on the blues. I can't make up my mind whether I prefer this one or the earlier daffodil against lilac image. They're both really excellent. Small beginnings. Another beautifully lit image. Again, really lovely use of a limited complementary colour range, which works well. Wonderful use of lighting. I'd maybe try to take down a couple of the background highlights a bit, although they don't bother me too much. Spring Chicken. Another great interpretation of spring here and another fun image. I really like the way that everything, barring the slinky, looks like a poster. Very well handled and, as I'm writing this over the Easter weekend, very appropriate. Really enjoyed this one. Spring dawn. Lovely dawn lighting here and a lovely peaceful scene. I wondered about cropping the sky a bit, then decided it didn't need it. The wisps to cloud in the sky add to the interest and help lead the eye around the image. Spring flowers. A great array of different spring flowers here. I like all the different colours together here, they don't fight each other. I think I would personally have cropped a little of the top and right of the image. Spring has sprung. 
Another really clever image here. I have no idea how you managed to get the daft to sit so perfectly in the spring. Love the colours in the image too. A very fine example of tabletop photography and very imaginative. Springy cat in spring. OK, my second image, so again not in the competition. Again flowers from the garden with a strange piece of garden ornamentation that found its way into my garden some years back. I did pop a different background behind it as the actual background was messy. The Banqueting House, Melford Hall. I know this one wasn't taken this year as this is a National Trust property so it isn't open right now. To be fair, I don't know if the grounds are open or not. It doesn't matter, it's a lovely spring picture. A great composition, I especially love the fallen daffodil in the foreground. The light has been very well handled, the colours are beautiful and it has a perfect dramatic sky in the background. Wasp on Daisy. I'm always in awe of insect shots. Having tried a few, I know how very difficult it is and this is very well taken. The detail on the insect is great and there is nothing jarring on the image. The colours aren't overpowering and the background is not distracting. Another great image. Insect study. Very nice shot of some kind of insect. The title didn't come through with the image for some reason, so my apologies for not knowing quite what it is. Anyway, lovely details in the insect, a very well taken image. Single flower. Another late entry, and again I made up the title as it didn't come through, so apologies to the author. A beautiful study which looks to me like it was taken on a light box. Wonderful colours and detail in the bloom. Definitely my kind of image. Weeping Pear Blossom. We finish with another very good blossom shot. This has a lovely subtle feel to it, with in my opinion very well handled depth of focus. I'd have been pleased to call this mine. The winner. As I said at the beginning, this is a really great set of images, so congratulations to everyone who took part. I found it very difficult to decide which one to pick among so many that I really enjoyed, but in the end I have decided to award the bar of chocolate to the image that had the greatest impact and originality. So So round one goes to, ha ha, said the clown. Scary but brilliant. Brian, you get the first chocolate bar. So there we go. Uh, congratulations to Brian and many thanks to everyone that entered, especially to Jill for her judging and her comments and to Maud May for the commentary. Thanks very much. That is the end, unless you want to catch up on a couple of bloopers, one of me from the recording of the video and a couple from Maud May for the commentary. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to enter the next one. See you soon, folks. Hello, Roger Cuthbert here, Houston and Photographic. Flowering current bud. Amazing colour in this shot. Stop laughing. <laughs> I was thinking... Ready? No, I haven't read it. That's it, folks. See you on the next one.